so you can see that the connecting bar is way down in that shape. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do a little voiceover here for you. So what I have here is a Ryobi gas trimmer and a trimmer attachment that is not Ryobi. I am going to modify this trimmer attachment, it's an edger attachment, to fit the Ryobi gas trimmer head. I want to make it work, but as you can see right here, it doesn't quite fit in the tube. The drive shaft is further down in the attachment end than the Ryobi trimmer head here. So I have to make it even. See, the drive shaft is even with the end of the tube. And now I'm going to cut this tube with these tubing cutters. A little large, yes, but they worked. I measured it off. Got the tubing cutters set up. Got the cutting wheel clamped down. Tightening the wheel down till it's almost touching the tube. I'm going to move it up to my mark. I marked it off the camera. I'll tighten it down just a little bit and then I'm going to double check my measurements here with a precision measuring tool. I just put my fingers at the end where the tube was, measure down, make sure my mark was good. Gently turn the wheel, tighten the wheel, and then I'm going to check my measurement again. So yeah, measure twice, cut once. Go around a couple times, make sure it doesn't corkscrew. That's what I'm showing you here. Tighten the wheel down slightly. A couple more times, make sure you get that groove going. Don't, don't crank the wheel down all in one shot because you'll mushroom out the end of the tube and you'll be doing a lot of filing. Go around a couple times, turn it a little bit. A couple more times, turn a little bit. It really will cut through pretty quick. It's just an aluminum tube. There it is. So the only thing it won't have is the lock button. You can see here that the drive shaft is the same. It's at the end of the tube. And I'm not going to have that lock button. That's what I'm showing you. So I'm going to try to see if I can make some sort of lock on it. So now since the tube is a little big, I'm just filing down the end. I've filed all the way around, sped it up, cut it. Run my finger around it, make sure it's not mushrooming out. It wouldn't quite fit here. Didn't want to, oh. Busted through the glove. Ah! So it wouldn't quite fit. I'm gonna clamp it in my bench vise here and get some sand cloth, emery cloth, and I'm gonna sand around it really, really good. Tighten it down. Get a nice long piece of sand cloth so you can pull on both sides. Use that leverage. Use a long piece, that way you don't, your hands have room to move back and forth. Got some penetrance, PB blaster, wiped it down, gave it a little bit of lubrication, and then slide the, uh, slide the trimmer head right on. Got it upside down here, I did notice it, but not until later. I didn't show you that part. Right now I'm gonna mark it where the push button lock would go and test it to see if I don't want to drill a screw or a bolt down in there and have it be inside the seal. So I mark it, take it off, see where the mark is. I found out I cannot put a screw in it. At least not there, you know, I could make one. I could make one higher up and put my own hole through the Ryobi side as well. But I decided to go ahead and fuel it up, go ahead and test it out, priming it, crank it up here in a second. There it is. It works. That's what I'm showing you now. 
I'll let it warm up there for a little bit. Do me a favor and tickle that like button down below. It really helps a lot. It does not take much to tickle my like button down there. So it's interesting that blade is moving full speed, but I guess the frame rate on the camera is, is making it look like it's barely spinning or sometimes spinning backwards. It really did a nice job. It worked well. I didn't need the lock button because it, the thumb screw clamp held it in place. And really all I got to do is edge my driveway and the small sidewalk and that's it. I only do it a couple times a year or so. So most people probably would have threw that attachment away or gave it away to somebody. That just goes to show you, take a look at it and see what you can do, see how it connects. It's just a mechanical connection. You saw how quick it was. It mainly was the, the rod, the connecting rod, were different lengths. So by cutting off some of the tube on the attachment side, I was able to connect them. And then I, you know, you saw I just had to sand it down a little and I put a little bit of uh, PB blaster on the outside to make it slide in there easier, but it, it holds plenty tight enough. I mean, it, it did a great job. And then I trimmed and I pulled the, the grass out of the cracks of the concrete as well. And I, and I did up at the top of the driveway there. It dug in there nice and deep, so that's showing you it, it worked good. So that just goes to show you can, you can make things work. You don't always have to throw something away and, and buy something new. So now I have an edger attachment for my new trimmer and I'm pretty excited and happy about it. Go down go down below there and do do that YouTube stuff for me. It really helps a lot. See you in